Hello, Driving Intelligence Community. Let's get back to this 5.42 valve for a change. Uh, this is my 2002 F-150 XLT 4x4, and you'll find this 5.42 valve in Expeditions and other Ford products. Well, I'm working with a new tuner to see if I can't enhance performance and fuel economy even further than my previous custom tunes. And when I ran a data log, he said that I've got extremely positive fuel trims, 15%, peaking at 15% on one of the banks. And uh, so he said he doesn't want to do any further tuning until I resolve where the, uh, the potential problems are, which he said are either a dirty MAF, a mass airflow sensor, or vacuum leaks. And that's why I've hooked up this smoke tester to my uh, compressor. And what I'm doing is pushing smoke that's generated by the smoke tester through the engine. And where that smoke is emitted from is where you're going to have a potential vacuum leak. Now I ran the hose, the source from the smoke tester into the, the vacuum line going to the brake booster. And I've uh, been running this for a while and I really don't have any smoke wisping out. Now I had to close off, by the way, I had to close off the end here where the mass airflow sensor is. I wanted to leave that in to see if there's any smoke leaking around that. But I close this off, I'm not getting any smoke coming out of here or any, anywhere in the vehicle. Previously, in a video I'll link below, I did do a smoke test and found some significant uh, smoke escaping. When I had a P0174 and a P0171, I had a big leak coming out of the pencil of the EGR. I replaced that and resolved that. And I also had a big leak coming from around this inlet air temperature sensor. And when I replaced the, the grommet that it goes into, it sealed it up. So I don't have any other vacuum leaks in this vehicle. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and use some mass airflow sensor cleaner to clean this mass airflow sensor and run data logs again and see if that helps me. But right now I'm running out of options for what the potential problem is. Now, one thing that I thought might be of issue, and I guess uh, this tuner doesn't agree with it. Uh, he hasn't specifically said this, but um, he's not uh, indicating there's a problem with the fact that I've got an oversized throttle body I got shorty headers, I got a cold air intake, you know, just much more open, much more ability to breathe. And that extra air I thought might require additional fuel that the, uh, the computer wasn't originally designed with. But maybe that's not the case. I'm not an expert. I would like to be. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you an update on that and talk, talk about the, uh, the can here, this uh, smoke test can. They're really awesome if you, if you, and they're relatively cheap, less than a hundred bucks great tool to have in your cabinet. I'll link it below. And uh, so in the future, I'll give updates as I get the uh, the better tunes for this vehicle and what the fuel economy improvement is going to be. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.